one of the things that we want to do when writing a cool ASP application is to have uh, wildcard handling. And while that was easily more easily done, uh, more straightforward, I should say, in the past, uh, the IS7 and 0.5 has a little bit more complicated different pathway. So I wanted to show you, here's my application that I would expect a wildcard handling to be done. And notice I'm getting 404 page not found. In the past, we may have done a 404 handling or something of that sort to handle this. Uh, but in IS7 and a half, uh, this is uh, the new way. So what I'm going to do is process uh, a custom HTTP handler. And so the easiest way to do this, I, instead of going and making a new handler, I'm going to find the existing handler for ASPX pages. And I'm going to just change it so it doesn't just handle ASPX pages, but handles <coughs> everything. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now notice that right away I'm going to go ahead and have my page, but I'm missing my style information and images and such. So <coughs> in order to get my uh, static files rehandled, I'm effectively I'm superseding this static file handler. So what I want to do is copy what this default handler, static handler, is doing. Notice it's a module mapping. I'm going to add my own module mapping. I'm going to handle it for uh, .css right now to give a good demonstration and no executables necessary. <clears throat> we'll call this CSS and notice that it needs to be handling a file, all verbs, and read access. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. <clears throat> Going back to my page, I got some style information. So you're going to need to repeat this for JPEGs and any other sort of uh, types of files that you want to handle. Uh, or have the ASP not handle, and it can be done um, then through there. So again, uh, two different modules change the default handling of ASPX so it handles all pages, and then add static handlers for each file type as needed. So in continuing, we would need to add a bunch of handlers. So I've taken the liberty of um, opening up the web config file, and uh, I'll just go ahead and paste in the different all the different handlers that I'd like to have in here and I'll go ahead and paste a sample to the code for this so I'll go ahead and replace my prior to and uh, save that so I got all my handlers there listed and voila now notice as soon as I have reloaded all my handlers um, I may need to come back in here double click on handlers and they'll all be in here so the ones that I put in the web config file are not um, making the IIS break or anything like that. So uh, that's a quick way to get wildcard handling in IIS 7.5.